All right, so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna do this live right in the console. Uh, I could do this in Sublime so you have the code, um, but realistically, this is not you know super awesome code or anything that's really gonna revolutionize uh, how the internet works. So it's not really, uh, it's not worth saving. Um, but this is a really good practice run. So the goal was to create a website URL. Now I'm going to use various methods. The first one I'm going to do is figure out which website we're supposed to be going to. So I'm going to create a variable called website, and it's just going to be https arcmont.com with a, with a trailing slash. Done. So now we have a website. This is, in all honesty, cheating. We could do some funner things, but this is not the part that I want you to focus on. What I wanted you to focus on was creating the URL, and that URL could be coming from anything. So let's create a, a new string. And instead of using camel case, I'm using an underscore this time just to show you that you can use a, other, you know, variable naming conventions. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog or something along those lines. So you see that I've added uh, two extra spaces in here instead of just one. There's two in there. This is all capitals. This is, uh, I don't know why there's a capital C, capital K. Either way we need to turn this into some sort of URL form. So now we have website and we have new string. So new string needs to turn into the URL. Well, the first thing I want to do with my new string is I want to turn this into something that I can manipulate no matter what down the line. So I'm gonna say new string is equal to new string, which really is just taking itself and overriding itself to lowercase. Now we have no more capitalization problems. This is perfect. Now, if we wanted to run a search on this, we don't have to worry about uh, a random capital C in the middle of the word quick. But now let's say I wanted to remove any extra spaces. Let's say there are two or three extra spaces anymore, uh, anywhere, and let's say we just want to remove them. Now, we might not know that they're there, but it might be a good idea to, to go and replace those extra spaces anyways at this point. Um, there's two ways to do this. One way we didn't learn, uh, and the way that we did learn. The way we did learn was to use dot replace. And that's how we're going to use it, uh, just because that's what we've learned, and I want you to get some practice with that. The other way is to use what's called regular expressions, which is a crazy computer way of searching through anything and finding the exact pattern that you have specified, and we're not going to learn about that yet. This is a JavaScript Essentials course, and you know, only being uh, a few videos in, a few lessons into this course, you don't need to know about regex just yet. Regex is the way we say regular expressions. So next step to replace, say new string is equal to, uh, you know what, let's not call it new string. That's, it's going to get confusing. URL is equal to new string dot, and we know we can use replace. And what do we want to replace? We want to replace extra spaces with just regular spaces. We can do that. Now, type this, and we've only got where there were two spaces between the and lazy. There's now only one. URL is equal to URL dot, um, nope, not splice, split. We want to split all the spaces. Now we know that there are a bunch of spaces in here. Between each word, we've gotten rid of any extra spaces. What happens? We get an array. Now URL is now an array. We can't do anything with that. And what would happen if we did website plus URL? Well, it automatically joined it together with commas. Pretty close to what we want, but not quite. So let's do URL is equal to URL dot join. And let's join all of the, the array pieces, all these different words with a dash. Now look at that. So now our final product is going to be URL is equal to website plus URL, which is going to concatenate our website and our URL. And there we have an actual URL. Now, does this actually go anywhere? Honestly, it's probably never going to go anywhere. Maybe, I don't know. But that's not the point. The point is we have what looks like a legitimate URL based on what could have been user input. User input is never perfect, 
Never. Like if user input is perfect, that's very, very rare. Just assume that user input is always wrong, that it's always, uh, it always looks terrible, that it's not formatted properly. Just those kinds of assumptions, not to be negative or anything, are good assumptions. Just assume that content entered into your website is not what you expect it to be. And that is having a security first mindset. Now, after we concatenated website with URL, well, we have a legitimate looking URL here. And we could have done that with any sentence. Running through this with any other sentence would have worked. If you feel like you've got a grasp on what we've done here, then uh, I invite you to open up the, the next video. Let's keep digging into JavaScript. This is getting fun. This is getting exciting. And moving forward, this is only going to get better.